All right, joining us now to discuss the NCAA championship is former SDSU men's basketball coach Michael Brunker. Michael, you've been you called it from the very <laughs> beginning, and here we are in the big show on tomorrow night. And we've got one more to go. That's right. Amen. That's yes, right. Yes. Your thoughts on last night's game? Last night was so special, and I know a lot of attention has been paid to the final shot, the buzzer beater, but I think there were a whole lot more two-point situations in that game that led to this victory. I know we talked about the fantastic five last night, you know, mm -hmm. yesterday morning, and, and it starts with the Secretary of Defense, and to think that Mensa and Johnson and anybody who guarded that big seven-foot center held him to five points yeah. when he'd been averaging much more than that, and especially after we got torched by, by the center from Creighton, who had 17 the game before. Then, the, then you go to the chairman of the boards. We had six players get six rebounds combined. That's 18 rebounds. So you've got Mensa, you've got Ladee, and you've got Matt Bradley. They combined for eight, six, 18 rebounds. And then talk about Matt Bradley. We, we talked about the need to have an executor. Mm -hmm. Matt Bradley scores 21 points after only getting two the game before. Mm -hmm. That executor was critical. But you also need that minister of motivation. And a rook, once again, came off the bench, gets his nine points, five rebounds, and a monster block that led to the, one of the transitions that led to a score at the other mm -hmm. end. But now let's go to that final buzzer beater right now. Lamont Butler comes down. No timeout call clock ticking off, mm -hmm. going to the final buzzer, but he had the presence, the state of mind, just that confidence, that self-leadership to find his spot, make the right move, and release the shot to win the game. And here we are. We're going to the championship game. Yeah, he had, and presence of mind, he was, he was so aware <clears throat> Because um, he, he said, I saw that there were only two seconds left, and I knew I had to take a shot. And from a coaching perspective, too, when you look at, you know, a lot of folks, the, the broadcasters were talking about, well, do you let the clock run out? Because had Florida Atlantic let that 24-second clock run out, it would have been maybe a second less that we would have had to get that ball down the court. Yeah. But they took the shot before the clock ran out, gave us plenty of time to get down the court. Uh, Brian Dutcher didn't call a timeout. Like he said, he didn't have any more plays to call. But when you look at it right now, it's, it was just something that we'll never forget. And how this team will go down in history as being the absolute greatest San Diego State basketball team ever. What were your thoughts when in the second half the Aztecs found themselves down by 14 points? That's a good question. And, and, <laughs> and, and I know we've talked before about great teams win close games. But hey, on the way over here I was listening to the Foo Fighters. And, and there's a song called Congregation. And, and there's a, 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 a sta stands in there that goes, do you have blind faith, no false hope? Do you have blind faith, no false hope? I know a lot of people talk about, I believe we can win, but do you really believe we can win or do you hope we can win? Right. If Butler came down saying, I, I hope I can make this shot, instead of I'm gonna make this shot, yeah. there's a difference there. And, and when you're down like that, it all comes down to, a setback is nothing but a setup for a comeback. Yeah. And that's exactly what we did. We came back, we didn't quit, but that's the fabric of this team. Great teams win close games. And and this morning everybody <clears throat> knows the name Lamont Butler. And they're gonna know a lot more about Lamont Butler yeah. and the others. And I know the names of every player on this team will be etched into the history of San Diego State basketball, San Diego State University and this city and region of San Diego. Yeah, and I think one other thing that's noteworthy <clears throat> is the fact that Florida Atlantic held Lamar, Lamont Butler to zero points in the second half up until that buzzer beater. And that's okay. Yeah. That, that, that's okay <laughs> because sure. right now, e even the game against Creighton, you know, Matt Bradley didn't score until the final. Yeah, Atlanta, yeah. At, at, against Alabama, you know, that was the same case with him. But that's the fabric of this team. That's what they're all about. They're a team of self-leaders, and, and once again, all glory and honor to the coaching staff, Brian Dutcher and his staff, who have built that in them that you never quit, you keep on playing till the final buzzer blows, and, and hey, it's been a long time since we've lost a game, but I know a lot of people talk about how great Con Connecticut is, and sh certainly they're a great team. Florida Atlantic was a great team. They had all the tools to get it done, there's no doubt about it, but hey, Connecticut's been beat eight times this year. Really? San Diego State has lost six times this year, so you gotta combine 14 losses between the finalists for the NCAA championship. So everybody's got that opportunity to lose, but winning is a habit. Unfortunately, so is losing, but both teams haven't lost for a long time. It's going to be a great championship game. And I, I don't have to ask you who you got in this game. You know who I've had all <laughs> along, you know, and, and, but once again, 
do you have blind faith and no false hope? Yeah. And I think right now there's been enough in this team that I've seen all season long that they have the capacity and the competency and the commitment and the confidence to win the national championship tomorrow night, which is what they will do. All right. Yes. Michael Brunker. Always great to talk to you. Great talking to you, too. I'm, I'm going to miss all these little <laughs> chats we've been having. <laughs> yeah. March Madness. Thank you, Michael. Amen.